All right, good morning guys. So this is another one of my vlogs I'm gonna start. I am running a little bit behind. I'm on the fishy going to get my massage now, which is something that needs to be done. Oh, the microphone. That needs to be done every, at least once a month minimum. So I'm off now to go and see TK, which is a massage guy that comes to uh, Muscle Factory Gym. I'm gonna go down there. I've just woken up, so if I seem a bit not with it, that is why. Uh, I'm gonna fly down there, I'm running a bit behind today. Slept, um, didn't get to sleep till late, and then, yeah, I'm just rushing around, but you know what it is. It's, it's, it's my day off the gym, so I'm just gonna talk through what I do uh, 12 weeks out now, so it's been two weeks since the last one. Um, I'm gonna do one every two weeks, and then when it gets closer, I'll do it a bit more often, but you know, there's only so much that changes every two weeks in prep. So, I'm gonna go there now, I'm a bit behind, so I'm gonna rush down there now, um, and I'll speak to you after my cardio session. So cardio first, then get my uh, massage done and then come back and then eat first meal of the day. So yeah, rushing around, but here we go. I'll see you in a minute. Right, we're here already. We're in a rush, come on, come on. So this is my normal routine anyway. I'll get up, do my cardio. Come on, forward, 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 forward. I can't turn around and talk. You turn around. That's better, that's better. So now we'll do cardio, um, get my massage done. I'm in a bit of rush, that's why it's gonna be a bit rushed, this kind of talking, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I need to get a new camera, lady. Cause... Watch out, there's a step there, don't break your neck. All right, so we're gonna do this now. I'm in a bit of a rush, I'm gonna ramble on, because I've just woken up. And uh, yeah, let's see. I met a strange lady, she made me nervous. Right, so what I do is a stairmaster. Well, it's not a stairmaster; it's called a stepper. But you get the most bang for buck out of this, and uh, it really gets the heart rate up. So, like I say, I'm gonna get on this now. I hate rushing. I hate rushing around. I blame the camera lady. <laughs> and for me, this one gets the heart rate going as quickly. I mean, yesterday it went up to 150. I don't know why. I think it's because of the heat. It gets really hot here, so it's just suddenly got hotter. Like 37 degrees, 38. So you can imagine, yeah? That will get your heart rate going. But this, for me, is the one. I do this every day, now twice a day. So, I'm gonna do this 30 minutes now, 30 minutes in the evening, because I'm a bit rushed, normally it's 40. I get stuck into this now, and um, as soon as it gets to the massage, I'm gonna show you that as well. Okay, so that's done. Cardio done, so now we're gonna go upstairs. Um, and CTK. Let's go. <laughs> I'm doing I'm doing a bit of a vlog today, so you're gonna be in for, for a minute, huh? You okay, brother, huh? How are you? I just got out of the shower if you want anyone wet. Because I did cardio and I was like, oh fuck. I got a shower before I see him. <laughs> yeah, good. Yes, 11 weeks, so that is what we're doing, 11 weeks. So this man, whenever he comes down, TK, he's the legend here, because he's the only guy that actually does any, any a good job. Um, he's, you know, um, come to him as much as possible. Whenever he comes down to Pattaya, yes. I see him. Um, I wish he lived here, but he doesn't. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, the bonus thing is, I'm getting a car in the next two weeks, so I'll be coming up to Bangkok okay. a lot more to see you. Um, and that way I can get around. So that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm getting a car, I'm sick of being on a bike. Um, I need to be around more Pattaya. So I'm gonna to come to see you a lot more often. Yes, sir, yes. Maybe even like once a week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I need it, you know? Let's go. So it's very important to get your massages done. Um, 
and it's one thing I'm not getting done enough and that's not his fault or my fault, it's just the way I live. So I need to make a difference, I need to make the effort and I need to make this happen. So that is what I'm doing. So today he's going to fix me up. Um, and it's just, like I say, it's just very important to get this done as a bodybuilder or as anyone really that's in the gym a lot, but especially bodybuilders because we need to be in the best possible condition for being on stage and if everything's out of line, everything's like, you know, the fascia's all tight, you're not going to get the most out of your training. So, I'm going to let this man do his job and um, we'll see you in a minute. Zeno Records. <laughs> okay. Oh. This is the best part of today. I'll show you. And I see you looking fly today. I, I, I see you shining, A. Eh? Shout out to my hustlers that grind all day. I, I see you shining, A. Eh? I smell that gelato from a mile away. I, I see you shining, A. Eh? I'd still be a legend if I died today. Oh. I see you shining, I got packs on the trolley, this rap shit's a hobby I got hairs but I still catch me a buddy The streets know me for getting pee My daughter had her first rollie when she was free, uh I caught a little case, that's a slight loss Put my lawyers like Harvey and Mike Ross And me and Scraps couldn't give a fuck about rap Can't even know we're nice, we're just always in the trap I stay strapped like some Lesbos Find my only talk packs on the end crows When you was inside with your Netflix I was in the crop house wiring electrics We in streets rep the church like a pole Trying to impress bitches without turning into pro These chicks be obsessed with my P I just hit, then I'm gone into the M I S to the T, it's nice I, I see you looking fly today I, I, I see you shining, A. Eh? Shout out to my hustlers that grind all day I, I see you shining, A. Eh? I smell that gelato from a mile away I, I see you shining Yeah, look at this It's a bit more separation now, mm. isn't it, huh? I know I'm still a bit fat, but... <laughs> How does it feel? But yeah, it feels better Yeah. This side feels bigger now mm -hmm. I always get problems with this leg, but like... Um, it feels fuller, so that's done the job, right? How's the shoulder? Much it's better. Good? Like okay. towards the end, I can start my arms to swim. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So yeah, he's done a really good okay. job. Done there, what are so they? I'm Thank really you so happy much. with that. Huh? It. Thank you. Now, now I'm gonna win. Huh? I've got the legs now. <laughs> so it's really good. So I'm happy. <sighs> Happy to hear that. Hamstring yes. there, huh? Woo! Let's go. Let's Beautiful. Go. <laughs> okay, that's done and dusted. So now we're gonna go home. We're gonna eat my first meal of the day. Get that in. So I've got to hold this bloody microphone. Get that in. And I'm gonna talk about what I'm doing at this many weeks out and what's changed since the last one. Um, a few differences, seen a bit. Um, I know. <laughs> yeah, so a few different differences into my diet. Things have changed since the last time I did a vlog. Um, I'm a little bit leaner, but now it's like crunch time. Um, 14 weeks out is still not relaxed, but once it gets to the 12 week mark, you know, things need to be upped, cardio needs to be upped, things need to be pushed a little bit harder, carbs need to be come down because, you know, it might seem a lot, three months, but in the bodybuilding, like week on week, it's not that long. So I really need to put my foot down if I want to be in shape, perfect shape for the first show. I probably want to come in around 85%, 90% around that for the first show because then I have another one the week after and then I have another one three weeks after. Now, ideally, you want to be your best for every show, but that physically isn't possible, especially when they're so close together. Um, but I have a plan of action for what I'm doing, um, which I'm going to talk about when we get home, when I'm eating my breakfast. So for now, I'm going to get my ass home, um, get some breakfast in, and then yeah, today's a rest day, so we're just gonna talk about rest day stuff, and, and like I say, the rest of the stuff that I'm doing. So, yeah, all right, and let's see you in a minute. So, now we're home, and I'm just gonna discuss what I'm having for breakfast and why, and how it's been reduced. So from this week, 
I'm actually reducing my fat intake because it was around 70 and it doesn't need to be that high. So I've dropped it down and it's gone down to 40 today. And the only way I've done that is by dropping the amount of whole eggs that I'm having. So when you're trying to reduce food content, um, I want to still keep as much carbs as my body will allow, um, at, at, you know, at 11, 12, 11 weeks out, 12 weeks out, you want to have a decent amount of carbs, but not too low and not too high. So the reduction in calories is mainly going to come from the, the, the fats, which I want to keep low towards the back end of prep now. Um, that way I can keep a decent amount of carbs to have fuel, to have energy, to have a little bit of glycogen, but not so high or so low that it affects not losing body fat. But for me, I need to go quite low. I can't keep anything over 350 carbs, anything under, I was been on 300 for a little bit, but it needs to be reduced. So I'm going down to like 270 carbs now, um, but the whole calories are going down to 2,700. So that is the lowest I've been so far in prep, but I really need to dig. And my plan of action this prep is to do things a little bit different. From now to like six weeks out, I'm really gonna hit it hard. You know, I'm, I'm 2,700 calories. I'll probably go down to as low as 2,500 um, within these weeks, um, but mainly increasing cardio as the output. Instead of just reducing food, reducing food, I'm gonna mainly increase cardio, drop a tiny bit of food, but mainly increase more output. Um, just putting more effort into losing that body fat instead of just relying on diet and diet only. For me personally, I believe that mixture of output and a decent amount of food makes my body respond better. So for today, like I said, dropping carbs, dropping fats mainly, calories have been brought down, um, and yet it's gonna, get, it's gonna start to get pretty hard from now on. It's not easy when you get below 3,000 calories for somebody like me, who maintenance for me is around three, eight to 4,000. So now I'm in a decent deficit, a thousand deficit, um, and that's where things start really working for me and fat starts coming off quickly. But that is what I want at 12 weeks out. That is what I need to be feeling like. So I'm just gonna make my breakfast. So all I'm having, two whole eggs, um, three egg whites, so five eggs in total, but I do have um, protein uh, shake from Thailand. They have, they sell them, um, and I'll, I'll explain why my thought pattern is this way. So out here, instead of having milk, it's like whey protein in a bottle, but it's milk flavored. So out here, that's a bonus, because I don't really want milk in my diet, because I felt that, and I found that over the last, over this year, I've become a little bit intolerant to, 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 to milk, and it gives me funny stomach. So this is the second best thing. So I'm gonna mix this. So this has 20 grams of protein. I'm only gonna have like three quarters of it. So around 20 grams of protein in that, plus the eggs, which gives me enough for the breakfast. So that's perfect. Okay, so eggs are nearly done. Um, the thing we're gonna do today, there you go. The thing we're gonna do today, I'm gonna to go shopping because of my day off, and that's what I like to do on my rest days is try to get the things that I can't do when I'm training every day. So we're gonna go down to get some food. I'm gonna show you what I eat and what my normal shop is at the minute. And also, I've got a treat for you. There is um, a market in, in the local beach, which is a cannabis market, okay? So it's legal here in Thailand, so I'm not doing anything wrong. And I won't lie, you know, that is one of the uh, supplements, as we call it, that I've always used. Um, so there's CBD products down there, but if you like, if you if you like me, and you just want to go the whole hog, you just get the, the flour. Don't bother with the CBD because you've got CBD in it. But so we're going to go down there too today, and I'm going to show you. I've never been there. It's like a special event going down there. They're giving out free gummies. They're giving out free weed. Who don't like freebies? So I'm going to go down there. Take a look, something to look at, instead of just knowing all bodybuilding. But there is 
a lot of bodybuilders use CBD and weed. Um, you know, a lot of them stay in a lot because you want to eat and it might help you eat in between meals. But the trick is to just not smoke a lot because when you smoke all day, all night, you just can't function. If you supplement it right, you know, in the evening or if you're really struggling to eat, you can supplement it that way. Some people, you know, I mean, the world's changed. You know, it's not frowned upon in the same sort of way. It's legal here in Thailand now. So why not utilize that? Why not use that? And um, yeah, so we're gonna take a trip down there and let's see what it's saying. I've just spilled all the oats everywhere. But you know, what, what I like to do is rolled oats. Now, it's the ones before they're chopped down. Now for me, you can have them cold and I will have them cold. You can have them at any time. You don't need to heat up. And you know what I hate about normal porridge? You know, when it gets all stodgy and stuff and it's just like ugh, cardboard, don't like it. So a good tip is get the rolled oats, which is a thicker one, and you can have it cold. It's like Alpen then, you know, back in the UK we have Alpen and that is eaten cold. You don't have that hot. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add that in. I also have some frozen raspberries that I chuck in with it. Um, I normally have blueberries, but like I say, I need to go shopping. So it'll be raspberries and blueberries in my porridge. Have it cold, but I heat up the, the raspberries because they're frozen. And blueberries are normally fresh. So I chuck that in, and that makes it taste a hell of a lot better. And then you'll get in your berries in that you need. Um, the best form of um, like fruit to have when you're dieting is berries. Okay, they're not super high in, in carbohydrate. Um, they're good for the digestive system. Um, it, fruit should be kept in all the way through. You know, vegetables and fruit, they should all be kept in into your diet. But what I have got, what I got yesterday, is because I'm not eating as much as I normally would, is um, my daily boost of greens, which gives me all of the kind of macronutrients that I need um, because I'm not eating as much vegetable as I normally would like. I'm dieting, so I don't want to, um, I mean, you could fill the plate up with that, but I tend to think that if you put too much veg, it can cause gas and stuff like that. And it's not, you know, too much veg is not good. Just the right amount is perfect. But this will just supplement anything that I'm not having in the diet. So that's great stuff there. Um, okay, so breakfast, this is it. Sweet, they're in there as well. It's nothing to write home about. <laughs> it is what it is. It tastes better than it looks. I stir that in, look, you got the raspberries in there. Beautiful, and you don't need to have it hot. It's so much better like that. Okay. So yes, breakfast to be had and a fun day ahead. Um, but let's just talk about prep. So 11 weeks out, like I was saying earlier, food has to be changed. What I am doing is, as we get further into prep, there will be a prep break as such. Um, it's like mimicking when you do show after show. So what I'm trying to mimic is, you get better every show. So I'm gonna to try to mimic that halfway through. So where I've been dieting for a, a decent amount of time, I'm gonna to get to around seven to six weeks out, and then I'm gonna kinda of go into more maintenance, back off cardio a little bit, let the metabolism really fire up, let the body get fresh again, and then dig for another six weeks until the show day. Um, well, obviously peak week, we back off a little bit, but literally another six weeks solid. So there's like two blocks of really working hard from the 12 week out um, up until seven to six, weeks out take like anything between four and seven days maybe five to seven days where it's just like a break relax freshen up and then hit it again so that is my thought pattern this year that is what I'm gonna be doing and it's really gonna help with keeping the body looking fresh, not withering it away, not depleting it to, to, to hell and back, you know? You need to get depleted, you know, you need to deplete to get lean, but you don't wanna end up depleting for so long that you end up losing size, and it will take sometimes, you know, two, three weeks to get back that fullness in your physique. So, like, uh, refeeds uh, as and when needed, there is no set days. I've made the mistake before of only doing three low days, one high through dirt. And that's probably why I wasn't in the level of condition that I needed to be on show day. Because I'm trying to keep size and fullness all the way through. And you've just got to kind of just forget about that. Um, yeah, you will be flat. Yeah, you will look small. But you just got to be sensible with it. You know, I don't want to do 16 weeks 
no, just basically depletion and then fill up just before the show day. That, that's just like the wrong way to do it. And yes, one refeed every five to seven days is all that's needed, but literally I will only have one when I hit new lows in the prep. So whenever I hit a new low in the prep, I will then you know, fill again. And sometimes I may do two days in a row because if I fill up, and that amount of carbs, I don't see any difference in weight. There's no increase in glycogen. I will do two days, but it all depends on how my body's responding. There is no set out thing. And if somebody sets out 12 weeks, 14 weeks, 16 weeks of diet, they don't know what they're doing because the body's forever changing and every prep's different. Whatever I did last time is not gonna be the same as this time. It never is. It's always a different sort of jigsaw puzzle. You're always trying to figure something different out. You're always figuring out the best ways. And even when you think you figured it out, the body reacts different because it's, it changes every year. New cells are created. The body doesn't work exactly the same. You're bigger, you have more muscle. The food intake's gonna be different. So many different variables when it comes to, to a prep and getting in shape. Um, yeah, there's some fundamentals that need to be done because you know how your body responds to a degree, but it will always act a little bit different each time. So that is my thought pattern on what I'm gonna be doing this year. That is what I'm gonna be doing. There's always method behind the madness. I don't just do things willy nilly. There's, there isn't, you know, there's always an action plan, but it's just as you go through those weeks, sometimes, things need to be adjusted and not exactly how you, th you originally planned out in your mind. So this is what I'm doing. This is kind of the plan I've got, but like I say, it may change. You know, it may change all depending on how things are going. Right? So for now, I'm gonna eat this breakfast. There's no point in me just filming myself eat the breakfast. That's pretty boring. Um, but next step, we will be going shopping and I'm gonna show you exactly what I get in my shopping and what I'm eating and all the food sources that I'm eating at the minute. So for now, I'm gonna eat this because I'm fucking starving. Hey, so now we are shopping. So I'm gonna go in Big C now, get what I need to get um, while holding this camera, zoom in, zoom out. Um, so yeah, gonna get the bits I need and I'm gonna video as we go in. It is so hot today, it's unreal, but it is what it is. Um, anyway, get my mind in gear, get the stuff I need. And like I say, I'm gonna show you guys what I get and what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. It's all the same foods most day, but right now the doors wanna open. Not very good lighting, but it is what it is. to get used to holding this bloody camera. It gets difficult. And you know when you come shopping and you're hungry, yeah, it's probably like the worst time to ever come shopping because you just want to eat everything. And I am bloody starving. Even salad looks, even salad looks appealing. <laughs> but it is what it is. If you want to get lean, you got to get hungry. It is what it is. And then we come to the bread part. Hey, I do love bread. And you know what, here they do this bread, right? And it's like sweet, like with fruity bread in it. Oh, anyway, can't have that. So what we're gonna pick is straight in for the vegetables because you've got to have your mac uh, micronutrients. So for me at the minute, Peppers is what it is, onions, I love them. And they can go with so many different types of meals. And it just tastes good. It's, it's a vegetable I don't really get sick of. Because most other ones I get really sick of. Where's she gone? I don't know where she's gone now. Oh, there she is. So, what's she got? What you got? <laughs> Fucking, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> food what food? Sausage. Sausage. You get enough of that, didn't you? We need to do it quickly. <laughs> huh? Eat quickly. 
Yeah, I'm gonna pick something. So, I'm gonna walk around now. There's no point in me filming walking around because that just gets boring. So, but I'm gonna show you at the end what I bought and why I bought it. And then, yeah, that's it. So, I'll see you soon. Right, back home now. So, what we have got is chicken already cooked. And guess what they've got? already weighed out rice, 150 grams, exactly what I need. So that makes things efficient. Just come back from shopping. I ain't got time to cook because I want to go back out and I want to go to this, this weed, this marijuana market, which is up for two days. It's like a special event. They're giving out free stuff. So we're going to go down there now. I don't know what to expect. I've been to one before, but it was very busy, but we're going to see what this one's like. So I'm going to eat this chicken. It's already cooked. It's going to weigh it up. 170 grams cooked weight because I've got 220 uncooked and normally when you cook chicken it loses about 50 grams so can enjoy this quick meal and then we're gonna shoot and go to the market which will be fun so yeah gonna eat this and uh, I'll see you soon to expect but one of my friends stalls who owns a cannabis shop they're selling lots of stuff here well there's free stuff here but now they're singing Thai rap over there and I'm gonna show you some Thai rap yeah which is a bit random but there you go here we go something you see every day. <laughs> right. So, my friend Lars ain't here. His stall's here. Well, the one he does videoing for, but they're not here. So, yeah, it's quite annoying. So, I come all the way down and he's not even here. So, but it is what it is. I'll show you some of the stalls we, that are here. Yeah? Everything you want, weed, 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 everything you want. <sighs> so yeah, we're just going to walk around a bit more and then leave. Bit of a wasted trip, but come down, have a look. Right, out of there now. Um, I mean, I had to check it out. Uh, when there's too many people, uh, I just get a bit anti-social, I just want to get out of there. Oh, I've walked past the bike now. She's looking at me like, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it weren't all not worth it. I got some free weed. I could have got more, but when it's just so busy, I just get a bit like, I don't know. We don't like busy place. No, I don't like too many people. I don't get anxious as such, but I'm just like, oh, fuck this. Um, but yeah, so went down there, had a little look. You've seen a little bit, weed stalls and everything. Got some free weed, so can't complain. The whole point of me going there was I was meant to see my friend who does the videography for one of these shops. I also used to have a shop and I used to 
have a business partner we don't get on anymore so <laughs> and I saw he was in there yeah. One, I don't know where they cut out but it cut out and um, what was I saying yeah I did have I was having a business with somebody, but one of them I've fallen out with. The rest are okay, but I was walking past, one of them said, oh, hello, brother, and all that, yeah? It's big. And, uh, no, he's okay, but it's like, we're not all friends now, so let's not pretend. I'm not a fake person, I'm just like, whatever, mate. All right, nice to see you, off you go. Um, it is what it is. Sometimes you get on with people, sometimes you don't. Um, but clearly, um, it's all business sometimes, so, you know, but whatever. So I just wanted to get out of there anyway. It's just awkward. I hate awkward moments. And yeah, I just don't like awkwardness because I'm just a real type of person. And I, if I feel bullshit, I just, I'm not going to pretend and carry on and, and talk. <laughs> no, I'm off. Uh, <laughs> So we're gonna go home now. Um, I've got cardio to do, I've got one more session. So I'm gonna go home now. Might be able to squeeze one more meal in. The battery's running low on this anyway, so I'm gonna go home, eat one more meal, go and do cardio, um, and that's it. Right guys, that is it for today. I've just come back from my last cardio session. It's getting late, I'm feeling tired, battered. But you know what, it's all worth it. Nothing worth having comes easy. So yeah, that's done. I'm gonna have my last meal for the day. All it's gonna be is beef and, and veg, that's it. Get to bed, get some sleep, get my seven hours. I'll try to even get seven and a half, eight today. Let's see how it goes. Just gonna chill out now and that's it for the day. So stay tuned for the next vlog, which is out in two weeks. Like I say, I'm doing them every two weeks now. Um, and then when it gets to the last few weeks, probably a bit more often, but for now, there's no point of showing it every week, but every two weeks for now, um, it is what it is. I've said that a lot today. It is what it is, okay? So like, subscribe, please help the channel. I'm trying to build up my um, YouTube now, just showing you guys what I do. If it's something you're interested in, it's worth a watch anyway while you do your cardio or you got a bit of spare time, it's worth a watch. So please click like, please subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for the next one. See you guys.